Oh, oh he's got him in his sights. Man, that car is fast. It is fast. Oh, oh trouble. heavy contact. Clawson involved. McClure is there in the 24 car. Brian Clawson. 24 right in front of us. Ooh, that's a big wreck right there for Brian Clawson. A lot of damage. 24 car, Eric McClure. Heavy contact for both these drivers. Six laps to go, and now yellow for the seventh that, time. That was. I couldn't control that. We're going to have a lot of debris to clean up right here, too. This is a, it's a pretty big wreck. A lot of cars involved. Dale Jr. just came by, and he's got damage from that also. Dale Earnhardt Jr., the five car, also damaged. And you see uh, right side at his fender. In front of that car buckled up. Hood is buckled up on the right side. Show you what happened here just a moment ago involving the, the 41 and 24 out of the corner. See, it looks like Dale Jr. got underneath Eric McClure in that 24 car. Whoa, wow. big, big crash. Jr. just looking for some room around these guys. Man, look at the debris flying off these cars. Wow. Picks that 24 completely up off the ground. Right along with Dale Jr. We'll see what he saw as he tried to make a move underneath the 24. Okay, hold her down here, bud. Hold her down. It's and good to see Brian Clawson get out of this thing. Yeah, that was a hard hit. You know, what it looked like, I'm not sure Junior ever touched that car, but a lot of times you're coming off that corner, and it looks like as he was going under, it just took the air off the 24, and as Junior was trying to go by him, it turned the, the 24 of Eric McClure sideways, and that's what created that. That's exactly. It didn't look like any contact. No. NASCAR has red flagged the field here. You see him parked there on the front straightaway, and you saw that on pit road the five crew cannot work on the car. There's the safety guys going to pick up debris off of uh, Eric McClure's number 24. They had to red flag this thing because it was just a debris field back there. And these guys don't have any more tires in the pits they can put on. They don't want to make another pit stop. And uh, NASCAR doesn't want to have to run through this and get a bunch of flat tires. So that was a good move to red flag it. Yeah, absolutely. There's a spring lay on the track. Yeah, they better get more than two guys back there with all the debris to pick up uh, there. This is eighth start in the nationwide race. You're out. Brian, I know you told me you're okay. What happened? Uh, you know, I don't really know. It looked like uh, the, the 5 and the 32 were racing pretty hard there, and they, they caught the Caught the 24, and I don't know really if the 5 got into the 24 or if it was just air or what happened there, but it kicked him back up in front of the track, and, uh, you know, we were there and, and had nowhere to go. But, uh, you know, I hate it for all my guys. It's uh, two straight weeks we've been in the car and, uh, and uh, you know, had something happen that wasn't that wasn't quite our doing. So, uh, you know, it, it, I hate it for all them, but, uh, you know, we'll come back at Bristol and try again.